Valentine of Arbor Acre took week one, while Ross 308 of the Agritech Group did a comeback at week two with over 40 grams in league. This is day 21. Welcome to the Broiler Challenge. I'll be right back. Welcome to Elders Agro Services, where we educate, inform, and improve your better ways to achieve efficient broiler performance and productivity. My name is Ebi Ambai Bita David, MD Elders Agro Services, and also an agro-based entrepreneur with keen interest in effective broiler farming. On this channel today, we are going to continue on our broiler challenge between Ross 308 of Agritech Group and Abo Eka of the Valentine Group. Today our beds are three weeks, which is day 21, and we are also going to take measurements of their weight gain in order to determine their progress so far. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and please do well to hit the subscribe button to be notified on any of our videos as they come out. To our returning subscribers, a big thank you for coming back again, as this reassures us of your belief in us. Also, we want to thank our teaming subscribers for getting us to the milestone of 230 subscribers and to our viewers for allowing us to entertain them with wonderful information as regards broiler farming in order to attain 3,000 views. From Elders Agro Services, we want to say a big thank you to you. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. We are going to start by taking the weight gains of 20 of each breed and we are going to start with Ross 308 of the Agritech group. Remember, Agritech is marked with the black marker while Valentine of Aboita is marked with the red marker. So, let's start getting Agritech out. <laughs> Welcome back. We are going to start with taking the weights of our Ross 308, the Agritech beds. You can see the black marker on their heads, and we have 20 of them. And so we are going to be taking their weight. You can see that the bowl and the scale have already been calibrated to zero. Let's start taking their measurements. The measurements are going to be in twos. <laughs> Now we have the Aboeka of the Valentine Group before us. We are going to start taking their measurements. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share to as many as you can who would also need such knowledge as this which is being shared. Also, please, the medication chart we've used so far have been displayed. Do well to take note of it. Now let's start with the measurements uh, for the Valentine Group, which is the Aboeka.
It is very wrong for farmers to wait to the point of maturity of their broiler beds before they start marketing or advertising them, because at that point, profit seems slim to achieve. Marketing can even begin on the days of the bed's arrival, but is most effective from week three. Marketing of broiler beds can be done in two major ways. One, through contact marketing, and the second one, through online marketing. Contact marketing involves the application of person-to-person -person contact marketing or person-to-group marketing. And it is still done in these days, but it is not as effective as the second one, which is the online marketing. The use of the online marketing involves the use of the social media platforms, which align with the current realities of the 21st century. This involves the, the use of two important items, a scale, be it digital or analog, or a smartphone, be it Android or an iPhone. Through the use of the above, the online marketing, and the instruments mentioned, wonderful pictures of broiler beds with varying sc scales of weight can be taken and, and advertised over social media platforms to engage people through online marketing. The online marketing helps the farmer to be able to create groups such as the WhatsApp groups in order to serve as points of information to customers on the availability of, ma of matured beds and also getting feedbacks from customers where necessary in order to know where to step up production. Good marketing can help the farmer scale up his or her return on investment in the sale of is our beds, ensuring sustainability of the business. It's important that we don't just make sales, but it is adequate to ensure that marketing comes before sales. At this point in time, we'll get back to the scoreboard and we'll know which broiler breed took week three. I'll be right back. We started from week one with Abo Acre of the Valentine Group coming with an average of 154.4 grams over Ross 308 of Agritech, which came second at 153.4 grams. We moved over to day 14 and we saw Agri Agritech group of company producers of Ross 308 make a comeback with 486.3 grams over the Valentine Group producing about acre of 445.9 grams with a difference of 40 grams. Today being day 21 and having done the weight, let's go through the weight. Remember, we are weighing two beds each and at 10 weights, which makes them 20, we have for Agritech from 1,977 down to 2,081, giving them a total of 19,927. When you divide that by 20, we have 996.35 grams. When we move down to the Valentine group of company, which produces the Abor Acre, we have 1,663 down to 1,989 with a high point of 2,033 giving them a total of 18,175. When divided by 20, we have 908.7 grams. Well, we can see it again in week three, day 21, that Agritech still takes the lead with an average weight of 996.4 grams, while Valentine of the Abo Acre takes second with 908.8 grams and that has a difference of 87.6 well as you can see the aboica are trying to make up with the demands of the day by following the agritech group of company which produces ross 308 well i hope you're able to learn one or two i hope you're able to view our medication chat feel free to drop a comment and we'll respond to you please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell, share the video to a friend who may need this or to a farmer who wants to know more about healthy broiler farming. From my farm to yours, see you at day 28. Bye.